Hey guys, welcome back to McCall Takeover. So when people find out that we let Mary out around the house like all the time, the next very next question we get asked is, what about your house? How much damage do you do around the house? So we just thought we'd give you a quick update because the truth is he doesn't really do a lot, but he has, he has done some. Not the camera. <laughs> so let's start off in our lounge, which is probably where he spends probably the majority of his time at the moment. And we're going to point everything out, aren't we, Maui? So, we started off with here on the TV cabinet. He's just recently worked out he can put his beak around this and, and chew it. Nothing on the top yet, but if we move along, <laughs> he for some reason decided to like likes chewing the corner off the wall. So, a couple bits of wallpaper out there, and then a further piece of wallpaper out here. Um, that was loose in fairness, that's probably not his fault. But as you can probably see, there's also a stain across the fireplace here. And this is because we've had some scented oils. Oh no, Maui, on perfect timing. Let's not do that while we're talking about your damage. That's a good boy. So we had some scented oils up here. He knocked it off and it spilt down the floor and splashed and stained the wall basically and also the unit next to it. That's not bad for the lounge. But pretty early on, we also worked out that his cage was too close to the curtains, wasn't it, Maui? I'm not sure if you can see this. They decided to pull the curtains through into your cage most nights for about a week without us knowing about it and chewing them up. And we're not going back to the curtains and come on, off the shoulder. Good boy. Ah. Uh, <laughs> come on. You know you're not allowed on your cage. Step up. Good boy. Step up. Step up. Good boy. Good boy, man. Right, let's show everybody else what else you've done. So, you can see you have a perch here as well. And we made the mistake of hanging, or well, we still hang toys off the top here, that's where the screws are for. But of course, we've got how big he is, and he can easily reach the top of the wall, can't you, Mary? See that? You did that. And you did that as well. And recently, you've decided you like to jump onto the table. I do think that chairs are budget, don't you? And look what you did on Christmas Day. Took the corner out of the table. Oh well, never mind. So what else have we done to the kitchen now? Where's your favourite place to go in the kitchen? Do you show everyone? It's this door, isn't it? So Mary thinks this is a perch, don't you? And you've chewed the corner here. No, we're not going up there now. And you've chewed, oh. You're about to demonstrate exactly what you do in the kitchen. Exactly. Okay, your point well, point well made. <laughs> we want to that. Yeah. All right, now. Okay, it's my fault for showing it to you, isn't it? And he's chewed away on the top of the door as well. Uh, no, 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 step up. Good boy, stop it. Right, we're showing people what you've been doing to the house. Don't do anything else in here, but you have been doing stuff upstairs. So let's go upstairs. And some lights on. We'll walk upstairs. And we'll walk upstairs. Go on then. That's it. And on the way past, you like to pull out these, don't you? The little screw caps that cover the screws up on the stairs. You've noticed half of them are now missing. That one's there, this one's missing, and this one's missing. And then what are we going first then? Into Charlie's bedroom. You haven't been too bad in here, have you? Mary likes coming in here because he likes looking out the window. And you perhaps we should put a perch in the window, it might be a bit easier. But it's just worked out that you can chew the window ledge, so not really much damage at the moment. There's something we have to keep an eye on, Mary, isn't it? There's some paint there. So that's. You see Jed? Is Jed down there? See Jed? No, okay. <laughs> I see Jed. Right, let's go into the office then, a little bit more in here. Mary also likes coming through. And joining me when I work. And recently you've worked out that the chair, look. That triangle there is definitely a McCaw bite. Where are we going now, Mary? So, so and a little tiny bit on the window ledge in here. We'll manage to stop him in, in time. But the best is yet to come, isn't it? So Mary, let's go through. Step up.
Now, even that's the hardest place, you know it's the hardest place. Okay, step up then. And step up there. Good boy, right, let's go and have a look. Good boy. Let's go and have a look, step up. In here. And now we like coming into our bedroom because we have a mirror, don't we? Who's that? Who's that? You say hello. Hello, Maui. Hello, Maui. Hello, Maui. Which he's allowed to play in front of. He's very excited. So if you come around here, come around here, Reese. I'm trying. You're going to see, <laughs> this is his latest thing. He's taken a chunk off of our bed. And you see I've badly glued it back down there. So that's a leather, a leather top. And he's just decided that he can actually bite it. And that is the total damage so far in the house. So like I said, it's not too bad, but bear, bear in mind that we're with him every time. So he's not left unattended. He's not gonna go around unattended. We always follow him, to see what he's up to. But we do like letting him explore the house. And that's, and that's it for now. Cheers guys, see you next time.